Good morning, guys. Today is the official day or the official start of fall, which is why I'm wearing a long sleeve. It's nice and cold, and this is my comfort element. It feels so good. It looks like night, but it's actually the morning. Um, the sun hasn't really risen yet. Even the puppies are barely waking up. I don't even know if you can see them. Fonny's right there. Brittany's right here. And Meatloaf is in his favorite place. And he loves sleeping in the bathroom. Look at this guy. What are you doing in here, crazy? I'm sorry that I wake you up. I've never seen that before. I've never seen a dog go in the light. That's crazy. Sorry, Meatball. Big cutie. Daddy's gonna go work out now. I always gotta forget something. So I had everything prepped the night before, my clothes, my meal, and the thing that I forgot is my bottle of water. So you guys see that Barba Brigade uh, flask that I always have in my videos? That's because I put cold ass water in there. And I think last night I was just too tired, or this morning it was too dark and I was too groggy and I forgot, so I gotta come to 7-Eleven, get my water, get my coffee. And today actually, um, I don't feel that tired. I actually woke up pretty damn early. And I think I'm getting more and more used to waking up at this time. I actually feel way more groggy when I wake up at 6, 6 or 5.30 to feed Taika. And then uh, when I have like a 9 or 10 o'clock call time, I go back to sleep for another hour or two. And that's when I wake up really groggy. But that's also just comparing kind of like uh, from uh, day by day. So there is also accumulated fatigue. So I don't know how my body's going to feel from waking up at 6 and only sleeping 4 or 5 hours every single day for like a whole month. So that adds up. But for today... It feels pretty good, so I'm really hoping that um, uh, today I got bench later, uh, bench press for my workout, and I have to hit 325 for 10 sets of three. So um, hopefully I have a really good bench session because the meet that I'm going to be doing in December, powerlifting meet, um, I'm really banking on my bench because I think it's one of my best lifts so far. So that's why I have so much volume. There's I could really get a good number from the bench, but we'll see. What do you do when you have one hand? You gotta figure out a way to carry it. Maybe like this? Yeah, that's safer. You guys wanna see something funny? So, uh, the guy next to me, I think he wants to race me. He's in an X5, could be an X5N, but I think it's an SUV. And he keeps pulling up like closer and closer, like he wants to cut me off. So I don't know if I should just let him do it because he's really in that big of a rush or if I should let him know what's up in my motherfucking ride. It's a green light right now. So once this turns yellow, that's when I have to make a decision. Oh, it's yellow. Whether or not if I want to let him go or not. I guess not. Peace out, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know why he wanted to cut me off. Dude, you should have seen it. As we arrived at the red light, look at this. This was going hella fast now, but too late. I'm already on the freeway. Look how fast this fool's going on local. I'm going 50, and to catch up, he must have been going 65. Why is he going 65 on local streets? I don't know. But when we were arriving at the uh, at the red light, on the way there, when we're maybe about like 300 feet away, he kept signaling to the left. And uh, he kept trying to get way ahead of me. And I even slowed down a little bit. But I guess his driving wasn't on point. It was kind of shaking. He was like, wait, do I have enough space to cut in front of him and brake? And he just uh, didn't do it. And then he had a signal on. And I could just see him creep up like he really wanted to take it. But peace out, buddy. You don't know who you're fucking with. Should have done your research on the cars, homie. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, this is LA traffic right here. Fly onto the freeway entrance. And bam. Awesome traffic. Now we're going 30 miles an hour. <laughs> That's so funny, huh? This car, bone stock, can do 0 to 60, I think, in like, fuck, what was the number again? I think it was like low fours or even under four seconds. And 
I'm never even gonna hit 60 on this LA traffic, at least today. And it's so unpredictable. Some days you come, I wake up this early and it's nice and clear, which is why I like going to the gym this early. And then some days it's like this, where it's 11, 10 miles an hour and I'm just trying to figure out where I should go because there's two freeways that can take me to Barbell. One's a 710 and one's a five and I'm like, Ugh, which one do I gotta take? And usually I just kind of look at it and whichever one looks not too bad, it's always, always the lesser of the two evils. We're moving along though, back up at 30. Really putting that zero to 60 to use. All 700 horses on the floor. <laughs> This is my morning ritual when I get to the gym. Open my gym bag. Pull out my shoes. These are the shoes I always lift in. Take off these guys, which are either my normal casual shoes or my slippers. Throw over here. And then the first thing I get, it's very important, is my pre-workout these days because I'm fucking tired of the motherfucker. Put this right here real quick. And, um, all right. And the proper way is you mix it, but uh, I'm trying to build this habit where I don't mix it with water or anything, and I just kind of put it in my mouth. And that's when the coffee comes in, and it's a really good chaser. So this is what I do. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it takes less time than finding a water bottle, and I'm pouring it and mixing it all up. And I think it does it like this now. So we get this freaking, um, you get like a, freaking scooper of this thing and I feel like I'm doing drugs <laughs> but I'm not Training was kind of rough today, to be honest. So I had a 325, a 10 by three, that's what I had to do. And uh, most of the sets, I got all three reps. Some of them only got two. I think uh, only two of them I got two, I got really tired. But every time you get close to the end of a meat prep, it's when your body's getting pushed to the limits and uh, you're, you're overloading, you know? So of course, it's gonna get tough and rough, but yeah, I'm doing what I can. And now I'm trying to look for a trash can. I finished drinking my protein, and it, there never seems to be enough public trash cans in America. Like, I wish there were more trash cans so there'd be less litter on the ground. But actually, I don't even know if that's the case, because in Japan, they don't have that many trash cans, yet people don't really litter. I think it's just the culture. So when people have trash, they either put it in their backpack, or they put it in a plastic bag or something, they hold on to it, and they never, throw it on the ground, but in America, I do see public trash cans. Yeah, it's, there's still trash on the floor. I don't know what it is. I think like Americans just love shitting when they sleep, aha, trash can. Dun, 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 dun. Bam. Awesome. Just got to the office, as you guys can see. And I also have a tweak in my neck. That's why I'm like looking at it funny. I think on like the seventh set of bench, my shoulder rolled out, I wasn't tight enough. We were just getting really hard and heavy, pretty much benching for like an hour and a half straight. And uh, when I was pushing hard, my neck kind of tweaked. Um, hopefully I can take a hot shower, use a hot bath tonight, and I'll help heal it. But if not, I might try to arrange for like a massage person to come through so I can get healed up before the meet. Time to get to work. Just finished showering, and right after I shower, I can never put clothes on because I start sweating like a motherfucker. But I did notice that 
the lighting in this specific room in the JK office is hella good. So I don't know how lean I look on camera here, but if you look in the mirror though, I look like way leaner. So uh, a little secret, I try to take, uh, anytime I, I feel like I got leaner, I always try to take a photo in here because it just makes me look way leaner. And in real life, I don't even think I'm that lean. But what's also cool is that I call this the motivational mirror because this tells me if I keep going what I'll look like in a month or two. So it just makes me push forward. And you can see like, I am, like I'm getting more shoulder and tricep separation, I'm getting a vein coming out. My abs are coming in, obliques are coming in, striations on the chest, and sweat beads on my forehead. Because I'm sweating, so I gotta start flex, uh, stop flexing. You guys wanna see some possible sneak peeks for January? Um, everything's not locked in yet, but I'll give you guys a really quick glance. And I know you motherfuckers are gonna hit pause and do all that bullshit, but. And also keep in mind that the printer isn't calibrated, so it could be a couple shades off, but here are some of the releases in January. There's these guys, okay, and then there's these guys, and then there's these guys, and then there's these guys, okay, that's it. But pretty much we're going with the, uh, keeping uh, true to ROG, black and white, and the natural theme for the branding, and uh, throughout the year as we progress, here's more sneak peeks, we're gonna get more colorful, bringing in the trends, but tying that in in a very barbell way. Oh yeah, if you go to Fit Expo, is this a Fit Expo exclusive? Yes, it is. So these are some exclusive stuff that we're gonna offer at the LA Fit Expo. One of them we already have in, and it's right here. It's hella fresh. It's a soft camo, and it's clean. This goes on the back. So we got a lot of exciting things going on. That's all. Oh, also, we're also making uh, clothes for sluts. So if you're a slut and you wanna buy clothes, um, we're gonna be offering these. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a secret project that we're working on, so um, that's all I can show you for now without giving too much away because that's how we work. Oh yeah, and that's the Fit Expo booth, sneak peek. And Marie just sent off her daughter to college. How does it feel? Did you uh, just take a shower? No. What do you have in your hair? It looks curly. But how come it looks like there's like wax or something? Sorry, dandruff? No, it looks nice. I was going to compliment you. Oh, thank you. See how thank you got you all self-conscious? I was just like, oh, did you just take a shower? And they're like, no, I'm homeless. I'm like, what? Marie's shy. But she's one of the best moms out there. Thank you. I'm just going to hold on, Marie, because I know it feels awkward. Yes, it does. And then uh, Marie starts acting funny and making funny faces. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't show you guys too much um, because because uh, some of those sneak peeks are so far ahead, like in January 2018, things could change. So I don't want to put things out that are too concrete or too cement because you know my staff is still working on things. And so until things are concrete, can I really discuss it? And if we were to really discuss uh, things and you guys really want to be in on the know, uh, make sure you subscribe to the Barbell Brigade channel because there's a segment on there called CEO's Corner and that stuff is when all news comes early in terms of the whole brand. So if there's new launches, uh, you'll probably know like maybe even a month beforehand. If there's something dope happening at the gym, uh, you'll know like a month beforehand. Like anything, you know, like uh, all kinds of stuff, exclusive pricing, whatever. And that that is really to kind of really be able to bring the brand and and a, make it as transparent as possible. We kind of got inspired by, you know how like every September back in the day, uh, rest in peace Steve Jobs, but he used to have like the September keynote speech and he would let you know what's gonna happen for the whole year on a big, big scale. And we're like, well, what if we took that concept, made it get smaller and let people know of all the updates, nitty gritty things here and there. Like, you know, people that are into Yeezys, like what if people knew a month ahead of time that the next color Yeezy was gonna be like this Heather Gray. Like how cool would that be, you know? Instead of waiting for this big announcement once a year, what if they have these constant little announcements so people could really feel connected to the brand and know like what's happening? Uh, that's what we want to do with that. So if you're really interested in the brand, make sure you check out uh, CEO's Corner on Barlow Brigade channel and there's all kinds of really cool updates. Now it's time for me to meet with Casey and Joe on our film. Just got a haircut. Um, I was supposed to go home 
Actually looks pretty good. I do feel way better. Whoa, I just smacked the camera against the window. Um, I'm supposed to go home, but my neck and trap is really bothering me. That injury I got from benching today. And uh, now it's to the point where I can barely keep my head up. Like if I wanted to keep my head up like this, it hurts a lot. I can't, I can't even drive. Like I gotta look over my shoulder to check for blind spots and stuff, but I can't even do that because uh, my neck hurts so bad. And this guy is driving crazy. The hell what is this lady doing? Um, so I think I might try to sneak in a chiropractor session right now. Uh, but the place that I go to, Dr. King, he's fucking dope. And because he's fucking dope, there's so many athletes that see him. I'm also driving without a seatbelt, by the way. I need to put a seatbelt on. Um, but there's so many athletes that go see him that he's always booked. So I'm going to just see if I can get a walk-in right now and get my neck fixed. Because this shit is throbbing. And it's throbbing to the point. Oh, the music. Oh, it's all sexy. Uh, it's throbbing to the point where I don't even know if I could hold Taika at night. Because my whole right arm is like going numb. I don't know what happened. But uh, I, hope I, I, I really got to find a way to get this fixed. So right now I have uh, the East End machine on me. And what is this? Like a, a warming thing? It's a heat pad. It's, it's going to loosen up the muscles. Okay, so it's a heat pad and loosen up the muscles. And... Uh, Hopefully it makes it feel better. It already feels like with the East End machine that my muscles are already getting more relaxed. I think what they're trying to do is just relax and loosen up so they can actually work on it. And I guess put back what it's supposed to be in place. Maybe I should even vlog with my right hand because it's a right, right side problem. So, so far, um, I did the electric stem stuff. And then you had another guy work on me and you really like, I think, uh, broke up some of the muscle. Help me relax a little bit, and um, and now we're on to the next phase. When I, I, when I even when I try to get up like this, it hurts, like right here. Yeah, that's boring. But it's normal. What? No, it's not normal. But for your case right now, it's normal. Yeah. Okay. Like, stay down a little. Bit. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Still. Okay. All right. So the next step is rapid release. What exactly is that? So this machine helps release the muscle and the tension. It breaks down the lactic acid in the muscles, oh, okay. and it's just really loud but it's usually not very painful. Okay. Yeah. It feels good. It's a really loud vibration. Yeah, but it feels really good though. Yeah. Oh. Some people feel really ticklish. Just squirm around. Oh no, it feels really good. Dude, Dr. King is the man. So first of all, apologies to him. Because of me, he stayed over an hour and a half longer than when they're closed, but that's what I like about him. Like, he really cares about his patients. So I came in late, but he still saw me just because I think he saw how urgent it was, where I was like, he knows I'm an athlete, I'm a powerlifter, and uh, for me to come in last minute means that I probably have a meet to prepare for, so he wanted to help me out. But uh, if you're ever in the Monterey Park area, check out Inspirational Chiropractic. He's super dope. Uh, when I first came in today, my range of motion was like this. Like, my neck was so stiff. And I couldn't move, but now after him, I can go from here, all the way to here, I can go from down here, up here. It doesn't look like much, but the range of motion is much more than when I first came in. And um, I still have to come back one more time. He says that's one of the things I like about him. Like a lot of other people, they're like, yo, I gotta see you like 12 more times. For him, he's like, the next time you come in, done. So he even told me what to do to go home. I gotta go home, hot tub uh, for like 15 minutes, and then put an ice pack on. 15 minutes to let the swelling go down and I just need one more time and it should be okay so uh, looks like I'll be back on track but he says I actually injured both sides my left side he didn't tell me what the injury was but the right side I pulled a ligament so no wonder why it's so painful but time to go home now finally okay I just got home and this is what I love about my bear there are always contraptions mm -hmm. that Ma Bear gets that makes our boy look super cutie. So Ma Bear's playing with Taika and this contraption we're using when we went off-roading and I don't know what, what is he doing? Is he trying to climb it? No, so what I do because he does bicycle, right? Yeah. So what I do now because it's tied to a string, I just have him kick it yeah. so that it moves it and he gets stimulated. Oh, that's so smart. So he keeps kicking it and it keeps moving and it just gets his attention. Look. He's the one. <laughs> oh, she's getting knocked the whole thing down. He's the one moving it though, but he loves it. That's cutie. 
What made you want to take this out and then put that one over uh, there? I noticed that he gets uh, bored of things really quickly. Yeah. I don't know if it's him or if it's a newborn thing. I'll yeah. assume it's a newborn thing. Um, so I, I want to constantly stimulate him. So once I felt like he already figured out the way the other one worked out. Yeah, he already jabbed and jamming out on that yeah, piano. Yeah, so the piano thing. So I just took everything off, laid it on the left because he still needs to exercise turning to his left. Yeah. Which, as you can see, the mirror that was on that, I moved it, and now it's over here. Yeah. There's a bunch of toys that he reaches for now. Yeah. Um, and then this thing, so it's just a new stimulation. That's right. And every time he kicks it, it's cool because it moves it for him, which he's like, what? That's yeah. very kidney. Thanks. This thing doesn't fit him anymore. <laughs> Look, his feet are like this. And that's like for like three to six months, right? Uh, I think this is zero to three. Zero to three. Oh, okay. Yeah. That guy's a freaking huge baby. Yeah, he's You're a sad. huge baby. He's two months. Cuny. Hey, funny. Funny potato. Me love potato. Look at poor Papa. Papa. Yeah? Oh my God. Are you stuck like this? Yeah, it's a uh, range of motion is pretty short. Like a lot of things, like I try to lean over and just, it almost feels like a pinched nerve where like certain things is just, it just hits it. I'm like, oh shit. Sorry. You look like you're wearing a back brace. How are you uh, going to do it for JK News tomorrow? Uh, I just can't be too animated, I guess. Damn. This guy missed you. Oh, wait, that's fun. Funny. Fun, yeah. <laughs> this guy is funny. thoroughly entertained still. Funny, Miss Papa. For anyone that's wondering where I got this, it's the best purchase ever because I got it from Ikea. So it was so inexpensive. And look at this. He just kicks it and entertains himself. <laughs> look at those feet. Meow, meow. So he's doing the damn thing. And it comes with that little cat, too. All right, he well. likes it. He smiles. Look. Oh. <laughs> meow, meow. Well, what I was going to say is, thank you so much for watching Bart's day, but he can't really finish his vlog because he's uh, uh, out of commission. <laughs> So, thank you guys so much for watching Bart's Day. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Aww.